Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So we're gonna do, uh, finally do our garage tour video. We've uh, never done a garage tour video. We've done uh, the bar video a couple different times. So what I'm gonna do is uh, walk down through the bar, uh, zip over to one of the other area where we collect some car stuff, and then I'll do the garage tour. So uh, kind of a fun new video. Um, obviously our channel's focused 100% on theater stuff, but we'll do a garage tour and uh, go from there. So walking into our, uh, our bar, this is our demo room. So obviously it's obviously automotive themed. So we got slot car track that we framed in, built the frame, did the rust technique on it. Got some kind of old, uh, you know, garage style lights. Got the big garage lighted sign that I built. Then we got all our model cars. So everything's 118th scale. Got these in some Ikea cabinets we picked up in California on one of our trips down there. Kind of go through all the cars here. Shut the door here and go down. So obviously more model cars, the Ferraris, some DTM cars. Kind of a mixture of cars that I've actually bought on trips and just the, a lot of the Costco cars here to be honest too. Little Maisto cars that Costco sells. Probably about a 60% I bought at different travel events and the rest are probably the Maisto cars. Then going down through here, I've got a bar video on this already. I'm not going to go through too much of the bar at all. This drops down. So I collect uh, movie, uh, excuse me, uh, race car posters, I collect movie posters too. Uh, so these are all racing board games that I had framed. Uh, this one here, super rare. The one below is even more rare, very, very hard to find. And then you've got the Formula One. You see, got some F1 helmets, got some holiday Christmas stuff out. And then some Legos, really an Audi car, another racing poster. Little Ferrari side. I'm kind of going quick. I'm not doing a bar tour, so I'm gonna uh, zip through. I'll speed this up. And then, so kind of going through the theater. Got a four more display cases again with cars. Got the drive coffee cans that I've all collected. I think I've got them all. And then as we go through, so let's see memorabilia and car stuff. I got bins and bins and bins. So we've got some. Uh, more Legos, a couple of RC cars, nothing too crazy. All right, so let's jump back. <laughs> okay, I'll stop here real quick, just kind of go over this side. This, I envisioned this from the bar to be able to kind of sit here and have drinks and then look out at the cars. So I got the double stacked industrial windows there. And then we did the two here, got the open sign. And then, all right, let's get into the garage tour here. So I'll go relatively quick. I do have some links in the bottom if there's anything you want to see. There's nothing too crazy here, but I might have some stuff that's uh, of interest. Uh, kind of jumping through here. First car, so 1972 Fiat 500. It's my uh, wife's car. It's pretty much fully restored. I mean, it's new tires, fresh paint on it from when we got it. Uh, needs a couple little things here and there. New steering wheel, which is in the front seat. A um, couple of cool things. So... Original VW Classic Vito clock. Uh, really cool thing I got from Amazon to hold the keys. So a little key lock box. That's nice to have. And then as you can see, I'll kind of just pan through. So all the cars. So I'll jump into this one. So this is a 1989 Launch Delta into Grawley that we're restoring. Um, it's in decent shape. It'll get full paint like the car next to it. It's got fresh motor in it. It's got all new exhaust. Uh, everything's been rebuilt on it. Um, Fuel system has been redone on it. Interior is near perfect. Uh, we'll make it look as good as the one on the right. So the one on the right is a 1989 Volkswagen Rally Golf. So a fairly rare car, much more rare than the one on the left now it seems. And so my goal at one point in my life was to buy all these late 80 rally cars. I had quite a few of them and these are the two I have left and probably the only two I'll do. So got some uh, lighted signs here. So large a gip sign. The Magneti sign, got the Michelin sign, and of course you can look above, tons of technology. So we've got our uh, network rack sitting in that cabinet that runs through all this fiber and all these Cat 6 and coax and speaker to the other side of the home. Uh, service panels for electrical, 
panels for the uh, low voltage lighting, so on, everything through here. Going to have to build some sort of false panel for a hot water heater. Maybe do a couple stack tankless heaters to get some more room, but for now. And then as you can see, I was also trying to envision if you're out here in the garage, you're kind of looking into a business or a bar. So I got the open sign. Again, the industrial windows. Got all the uh, flooring in here, the front of the car. Obviously, the Fiat 500 is not for sale. One of our friends put that on there. Messed with my wife. And then car-wise, the Ferrari 360. So it's a 2000. Just, uh, pretty stock overall. Some Morimoto uh, taillights that everybody's putting on. 19-inch Challen wheels. It's a pretty cool color combo. So Grigio Alloy. And from what I've told, is fairly rare color for these. Um, I like the color combo. It's one of my favorite. There's the challenge wheels. And then, as you can see, a lot more signs. So we've got a kind of a griots garage section here. They're not too far from us. Uh, I believe the owner, actually, Richard, lives not too far from me as well, right on the lake. And then side mount garage door opener, insulated garage door, uh, drop-down light from Snap-on, uh, some wall control, rest is griots, little Adams garage to hold a few things. Uh, this little cabinet here, this was just an Ikea cabinet we had made some stickers for, had someone make some stickers for. Some wash buckets, uh, light of griots garage sign I got to put up. And then we've got our, uh, all our kind of our, I guess, eBay signs. There's no real ones across the top there. Those are all fake. Uh, but we do have the real signs. The shell sign is real. Champion sign is real. The NGK sign is real. It's kind of a cool cabinet. Got some dolly casters. That's to move the cars out. As you can see, it's pretty tight profile in here. So we got the, uh, I got some Abarth wheels under there. I've got some Ferrari wheels under there. And then some extra parts. So painted stress bar for the rally, rear stress bar for the Lancia, spare tire for our Alpha. Um, then some model cars. So I've got all of the techniques. Um, in fact, I actually have all the Technique large-scale cars, including the F1s. I just bought the Silver Arrow a couple days ago. Uh, more memorabilia, so some Agip stuff. Uh, little mini figs, street signs, those miscellaneous, actually, stuff I'm working on for projects. Um, car lenses, more board games, uh, license plates, lots of license plates. So I used to own a company that did stamp license plates. And then a little more signage and then kind of zipping around. Got the lighted Michelin sign. We've got some posters that I haven't put up yet. And then there. So then let's walk into the shop here. It's the flooring throughout the whole place is like this. So we got all the Sabre cabinets that we built in here. So we got our server equipment or network equipment, I should say. Relatively tidy for an installer that comes home. They usually don't have really clean stuff, but mine's all right. Uh, cabinets, little workbench, computer monitor, uh, a little soldering station with some tech tool, solder, uh, more collectibles. You just see bins of collectibles everywhere. Um, all these bins have collectibles. Uh, these have car parts, a bar, launch, and so on. Um, all the red ones, I believe, are Hot Wheels. And then we've got a couple things we bought on eBay. So, thing to hold just the basic Milwaukee tools. Wall control panels, stainless top, and then we had to trace our space, do all our drawers. So that's a pretty nice feature. So, you know, for example, electrical tools, uh, geez, specialty tools. They're all they're all done. Beta. A lot of beta tools. Uh, a lot of just craftsman tools. So pretty well organized. A lot of specialty stuff stuff here enough to do work on any of the cars we got there's tools in here tools up there uh, i'm not going to go through all of it I and mean, the bins more memorabilia up top flags and then that's all legos in there uh road bike mountain bike um, vacuum more signs you got launch a sign weber sign there's an auto bencini sign uh old bmx race bike uh just a plotter here to cut graphics for my business and then computer monitor for cameras, computer monitor to do work, different stuff, look stuff up when you're working on a car. Um, and again, nothing's all 100% finished, always still working on stuff. The cabinet stuff under there is not complete. Some paint over there and so on.
Uh, ended up putting these lights in so you can actually really see what you're doing in here. We have the linear lights here and then the different color, the warm lights are actually just like a walkway light. So if you come in here at night, these turn on and the, if you want to go to the shop and grab something, you don't have to turn a whole lighting system on. Uh, again, stuff's not 100% wrapped up. We've got electrical panels, Lutron lighting, a bunch of low voltage light panels for both the linear lights, uh, all the sign lights, and then, you know, again, the cars. And so other side of the house, we'll do a tour, but we have our, our wood shop on the other side of the house. Then we have our two car garage out front. So this is kind of the main collectible garage though for cars. And that ends the video. So thanks for tuning in. We'll get back to our normal uh, theater design and tech stuff and home theater tours. But I thought I would throw this one in the mix. Thanks a lot.